Hi folks, David Fine from Watch Your Lip. This is your beach fishing fast fish how-to series on how to catch big fish from the beach. Guys, we have 25 years experience of beach fishing in South Florida and we've picked up a few tips along the way. Today, guys, we are gonna talk about something that seems very simple, but actually is super, super important. We are actually gonna be talking about a sand spike. And this is a little bit more than a spike. That, Dave, that looks like a PVC pipe. It is. Guys, we're going to tell you some secrets about the right type of sand spike to use. It's a rod holder. Very important. Check this out. Guys, sand spikes, rod holders, PVC, whatever you want to call it, it's very, very important because one of the worst enemies of a fishing reel is sand and salt water. So when you're beach fishing, you got to keep your reels out of the sand at all costs. And so a sand spike is very, very important. Actually, the first thing I do when I get to the beach, we get our beach cart down, we get, before I set up everything, the very first thing I do is I go down and I hammer in all my sand spikes, okay? So, uh, guys, while I have this out, get yourself a rubber mallet and uh, make sure that your sand spikes are really hammered in super, super tight because I've made the mistake many, many times of not putting them in deep enough and a big tarpon hits or something like that and your rod goes crashing into the water, into the sand, that's not a good thing. So guys, you get a rubber mallet, make a little bit of an investment and I've had this mallet now for like seven years. It's, it's beat up, it's chipped up and well, it's done me very, very well, okay? Guys, you can go to a bait store or Bass Pro or one of these other places and you can buy these fancy pre-cut, pre-made uh, sand spikes that have got the little funny little lip on the top. Guys, guess what? Those are never long enough for my liking personally, okay? When I'm fishing these big fish, big rods, big tackle, those little sand spikes, you know, I like to hammer them down at least a foot, foot and a half into the sand to make sure that they have enough um, tension so that when that fish hits it, the rod's not going anywhere, okay? That's why I use these big, long pipes. What I do, guys, I go down to my local hardware store, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, something like that, and I will get a 10-foot section of PVC. A lot of times, I'll use two-inch PVC. That means the hole is two inches across, and that means it's big enough for even my largest real butt so like the those big 40 pen senator wide spools uh it'll fit the the rod butt will comfortably fit inside of there and and guys you want to get the heavy duty pvc you don't want to get the thin stuff that um, will break because if you're trying to hammer in the thin stuff you're going to crack it it won't take won't be long before it cracks so i get the the heavy duty pvc and what i'll do is i'll get a 10 foot section and then what i'll do guys is I will just cut that 10 foot section in half at an angle. And now what we have here is we have the, the end that I'm gonna drive into the sand, that sharp end, and I'll have two rod holders out of a 10 foot section. Guys, um, this rod holder is five feet long. This one is a little bit thinner. It's a, it's a one and three quarter inch PVC. I made it a little shorter in case I ever just wanna take a, a simple, like a, throwing a lure or something like that, and I just wanna have something to put it in. I don't have to have the five foot piece. But you can make them versatile to however you like them. Uh, I like the heavier duty one. I like the longer one, because I like to really hammer my sand spikes down in nice and deep so that I don't have any issues while I'm fishing. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it, uh, but it's the first thing I do. I hammer my spikes in, I put all my reels out, now I'm ready to go start catching bait and getting uh, some lines out in the water uh, and making sure that my reels are safe. They're in those rod holders and they're protected. They're not falling in the sand. So uh, guys, you can also make some little caddies where you can actually make something that can bolt onto the side. If you're, if you're nifty um, or handy, you can make a little thing where you can, like a caddy, you can actually put some uh, rigs in there or even a little pouch to hold bait um, if you're cutting squid or cutting little pieces of pilchards or something like that. And you can be sitting next to your rod and have your little caddy built onto your rod holder. I have an apparatus where I actually slide into the top of my rod holder, a three-piece rod holder. So I actually have 
three rods coming out of one single rod holder and that way I only need to bring one piece of PVC down and I got three rods coming out the top. Um, it can be a little risky because if, if that thing goes down, then you got three rods going down into the sand. That stinks. I've had that happen before too. Uh, but if you, if you take care of your stuff, guys, it'll last you a long time. These sand spikes are a very, very important tool for a beach fisherman. Guys, hope you liked the video. Super short one. Give me a like thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications and uh, guys comment down below what type of video would you like to see next. Um, we are going to teach you as much as we know about how to be successful beach fishermen. So guys, God bless, take care. Uh, let's get out there and rip some lips. Till next time, watch your lip. Take care.